guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 19 and 20 of Magical Girl Lyrical Nunnel Hush Strikers. I know, it's been two weeks. It surely has. I did not want it to go on two weeks and go into a hiatus, but I was like, hey, it's time. I need to get this out. I need to know what the heck happened um, with Vivio, because uh, Precious Baby Girl, especially with that ending, and then everything else of what has happened and such, girl... We need to know. We must find out, even though it's <laughs> I've seen this and I haven't seen it in a long fucking time. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 19 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, that's loud. It's just with that episode, with those last two, like, everybody, and truly everyone, lost something that they, or someone that they really care about. And it's like, okay, yes, we're getting to the closer, closer and closer to the end of this series and such, like, bruh, I'm just not ready to see it. Because I know we're, we're almost done with this. I think I have, not counting these two, I think I have six more episodes before I'm done. And then I know the person who, who requested this, they want me to continue on. Um, but I told them I was watching something else after this. So I will probably come back to this series after. Because I think the next series is the one series I have not seen yet. They, once again, continuing the, the loss that, you know, everyone has. We're in these last couple episodes, we've been in very much depression mode and it, and it hurts, especially with the way 18 ended. I don't like the way that ended. That hurt. Hell, both of them hurt it. And I don't want to go through that pain again, but you know, hey, it, it, it's this show. Of course, we always go through that pain.
let me say this real quick. You know how like headquarters is really feeling some type of way about Raya Force Six. It gives me feels about how headquarters felt like with, of course, because if you already know what I'm about to compare it to, no, not pretty here, Simfo here, and Hibiki and their group and some of the things that they did because everyone was like, eh, eh. Yeah, And of course, she had to stay back so that we 100% make sure she's back in top form. Feeler, all she really wants right now is to get her sister back. I know. Oh, I know. That hurts too. No. Yes, you were reckless. Very reckless. And, you know. Like I said, in that, in that moment, all she cared about was getting her sister back. That's, besides their dad, that's the only other person who she has. How long is a while? Hopefully it's quickly. Oh. It relationship is just like faded thought the ones. When they're making her to the Oh my god, that's so sweet! It is, but mm -hmm. it's like if any other thing, 
does not work, then yes, we use that. Go save your baby. Oh, my God, my body hurts so much. Oh, I'm crying. Well, that's better than something, nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. I get my baby. We all of course, even Nano has you know, she's lonely too. I mean, yeah, she has fate and everyone else, but she misses Vivi all just as much as fate does. <laughs> First night. Duh, you gotta wait. You gotta be patient. You're going to overdo yourself. It is, and I get that. <laughs> oh, I want to go to bed. I want to take a bath. Oh, my body hurts. Mm -hmm. and everybody to come out of this safe and sound unharmed 
nobody lo losing their lives. Like, please, that's all I want. What's up? Hmm? Ain't that funny? After she is fully recovered, it's like, hey, alert into the action we go. Oh, damn. I, I don't know why, but I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, my God. What is she about to do with her hair? Of course, by using the precious baby. Don't like people like the bad guys and stuff, especially this doctor. You know how like when someone says our dream and then he's like, no, my dream. Be like, bruh, this is everybody's dream now. It's not just yours. Stop thinking it's always about you ass. So quickly too, right? <laughs> Uh-oh. Sure. Great. Surrounded. No.
messaging us. How can he make an incoming call when he's in a battle? Okay, never mind. Cause she she's doing all the battling. Oh, but is she okay or under the, yeah, she is, of course she is. No, but she looks normal right there though. But no, she's, she's definitely under their influence. You can tell, obviously. I didn't want that. I didn't want her to see that because it's going to hurt. It already hurts her now. See, like now, this is very much final battle ask, even though, of course, we're not in the last two episodes of this show, but seriously, this is going to be like part one, part two, part three, four, five, six, seven, how many of our episodes we have left? And of course, they're going to have Subaru go against her sister, which is going to hurt the hell out of me, I don't want to say that. That hurt. That hurt. Not in the last couple of minutes. Just the last seconds. Like, oh. No. Like, having people say, like, it hurts. It hurts. Mama, mama. Like, oh my god. No. I don't like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No, 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 no. That hurts. And it hurts badly. I don't like it. I hate it. It's not cool because, I mean, like I said, that, Nanoha is her mommy. And technically her guardian, but her mommy at the end of the day. And I think, you know, it also in that moment, fate possibly there too and hearing it. Like, yeah, that hurt her just as much. But because Nanoha has this, like, a little more of a deeper connection with Vivio than fate does. Like, yes, you know... Fate will treat her like her own child and everything because, you know, they never really talked about the fact that these girls could or possibly even want kids. But I think when you're looking at the kids that they're training, like for Fate, she looks at the other two who she's currently training as her kids. And I love that. And I, in my opinion, also, I consider, you know, Tia and Subaru not as kids. <laughs> of course, it's obvious. But just i think for both of them they were hurting like I, I mean if i was in their place i would be heartbroken hearing my child scream and calling for me 
and telling me it hurts and that, you know, help me, I need you, da 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 da, like, mm -mm. no one wants to see a kid suffer. It's one of the most, like, saddest things in the world. Like, it's a, between older adults doing the suffering or kids suffering. It, oh God, uh, the, once again, the line. Now, I kind of wonder, so now that, you know, Subaru has now seen that her sister is brainwashed to the other side of the team, you know, hey, working with the bad guys and such, um, it makes you at first think, like, okay, like, maybe she's gonna want to sit this one out because of the fact is, what if, as I said, she might have to fight her sister, but from what I'm guessing, from what I remember, I think she does, um, and such but looking at it as with like a brand new set of eyes and everything it's like it's in a it's if it does happen from my remembrance of this even though i barely remember jack ish um it is going to be emotional i i can't think about it like with any other okay <laughs> i hate to compare it back to pretty care but okay think about all right and, and i've posted this like so many times like um or i've talked about this so many times it's in movie, movie two of Futariwa. It's the movie where both Cure Black and Cure White are heavily influenced by the bad guys. And they all, like, they get casted on this spell and such. And instantly, these two are fighting each other. At first, like, Cure White is fighting an infected Cure Black. And then, uh, no. Yes. No. 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 I mixed it up. White is infected, black isn't. Then as, after that, black gets infected. And these two just go at it for a couple minutes. Then you get like Shani, Shining Luminous come in, do her thing for a second, and then we go right back into the action of it. And it's a really emotional scene. I think it's something like, it, it's really funny because very recently and like, you know, pretty cure Twitter, somebody was talking about that and how they want to see Pretty Cures fight Pretty Cures again, which I'm like, I'm not mad at that. I have no problem with them doing that. It really is just up to them. Plus, once again, since the anniversary movie is coming out in like the next couple of months, like it that could happen. Like some of the girls could be influenced and we could see all these girls duking it out on the big screen because <laughs> Jesus Christ, that'd be nuts. But who really knows? But in the end, if you have seen that, it is, you know, getting closer and closer and towards the end of that sequence, it's very emotional. And there's a point where Cure White, she snaps right out of it. And she uh, she starts calling um, Nagisa, aka Cure Black, her name. And next thing you know, Nagisa kicks the crap out of her. And that hurts. It, it hurts like, like, it's like a punch to the throat, your gut, your stomach, because it's like, these two really love each other so much. Like, I, I will still say, in my opinion, they're ca canonically married and such, and they're always forever intertwined. And so seeing these two bicker like this, it really does hurt you. Like, comparing it to any other Pretty Cure series where, like, a mascot and one of the girls that fight or, you know, other two girls of the show has fight, it does hurt, but then eventually when they do get back along and they apologize for it, like, you're, you're just happy. But, of course, if we do get that fight, that is instantly always what I'm going to think about. Because just seeing that and being in that moment, it's just like, everything. <laughs> That's all. Freaking everything. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say, but, uh, you know, we are about to go in, like I said, we're in, like, the final, final battle of this. I am truly scared to see what is about to happen in these last couple of weeks with this show. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 20. <laughs> All right, episode 20 in three, two, one, go. Uh, until now. Until now.
Oh, I think my pain just got worse. Jesus Christ. I'm going to be able to sit another hour to do something else. I might have to do it tomorrow. Damn it. Exactly. The future is always uncertain. Of course. It's always either for a love of a woman or a love of a man. Love. The the one thing. Weak. Love is weak. But, you know, love is also very powerful. See, I feel like at the same time, like, even now, he's worked with these girls and, you know, our couple of boys um, so much that I feel like he's just going to be like, oh, you know what? Fuck y'all, man. It's all about me. Because, look, the previous episode, our dream, no, 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 my dream, that already gave me the biggest freaking hint, like, okay, you're being an ass. Screw you. They're all pawns in his plan, in this scheme, and I feel bad for them. Like, that that's fucking worse than, like, Fate's mom or even a uh, homegirl from Sympho Gear.
he keeps saying R, R this, R that, R, R, R. But you know, in in his in the back of his mind, he's like, my, 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 mine. Not yours, not ours, mine. Basher. Yeah, I'm looking at that, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Because, like, for a moment, I'm like, is that? Yeah. <laughs> it is. I mean, the detail on the brain, though, but, like, <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, God. I only like to see, like, you know, fake brains in my horror movies. <laughs> Cause that looks so weird. I mean, but isn't he also still close to dying as well? He should be dying at, like, at least before the series ends because um, the little fairy, uh, similar to What's-Her-Face, like, is still with him. First, that's her. Is it wise for everyone to spit in the groups? And she'll be okay. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't 
I already feel myself tearing up, <laughs> even though the scene's over. You're on your own now. Good luck. Say what it is. what you're really scared about. Baby, it's written all over your face. Mm -hmm. uh, one more last but talking. I get it. All four of them are scared. And, you know, they have a right to be. We are in a life. We, they've always been in a life or death situation, but this time, really. Baby, yeah. <laughs> right? Nanoha has been in the game for 10 years, so, you know, she can, you know, hide her feelings. She got this.
Of course. Oh, babe. <laughs> I mean, you two really don't have the time to flirt, but it's okay. I love the fact that they gave them a moment just to flirt and be like, yes, I love you. Like, that means I love you. I <laughs> And the fact that she's like, I'm gonna come back with reveal. Come home to you. <laughs> I'd be looking at him some type of way. I'm just saying, you know, and it's also because the, the Sailor Moon inner in me, because I'm like, mm. Of course she has to be here. Yeah, she. she <laughs> 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 I mean, not all there, but she going towards it. See, I told you, I told you, I told you. I mean, she killed all three of them like it was nothing. Mm. Oh, we're ending it today? Yeah. 
It makes sense because, of course, like, <laughs> these next two episodes about to be non-stop action. But, like I said, of course, once again, you cannot always trust the bad guys. And especially, like, you know, in a situation where he has a group and it's like, oh, we're doing it all for us. Once again, in the back of his mind... When he is not around certain people, he's plotting another plan. He is scheming within his schemes. Boy. Mm. No, but like, uh, okay. A lot happened in this episode. Just still. Vivio kind of having a little bit of a moment. Flashbacks of certain things and such. Fate and Nanaha, like always, having a freaking moment. And it's like, hey guys, you know, we're, we're once again in a life or death situation. Stop flirting with each other for five minutes and such. But the fact is that both of them was like, you know, their, their limits are now, you know, released and they're able to use it. And I love the fact that Fate is like, you know, hey, I want to tell you not to use, you know, Raising Heart's limit, but... I won't because if you know Nanoha, she's going to use it regardless. It's literally like if she can't use anything else, if she's used everything and it's the only thing that she has left, of course, she's going to do it. Same thing with Fate. But, you know, of course, I love the fact that, you know, even with Nanoha, she's like, yeah, you know, I get it. I love you too. Don't overdo it as well. And it's just like, ah. Cuties. <laughs> of course, it's gonna happen next week too. Freaking you know, babies, lesbians. Like, oh, I can't let them sometimes. I love them. The cuties. It just, I'm like, one every five minutes. I'm like, yeah, guys, guys, you know, hey, 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 stop flirting. Y'all cute and no. all. And I love it and I ship it, you know. Mm. Stop flirting with each other. And that's what it is. Like, uh. But still, even though, like, in her own special way, like, she says, you know, I'm going to come home with Vivio. I'm going to come home to you. Like, even though she ain't say that, in my mind, she said that. That interpretation of that se of those sentences interpretates that. I don't care what you tell me. As, you know, the one guy who, when I did the Monogatari series, has his head cannon now because of my mother saying that L died because of diabetes and not a freaking heart attack and such. That's his headcanon. This, this is my headcanon. All the words that they were saying, I love you, I'm coming back to you, I'm coming back with our child, da 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 da, da. That's it. She's coming home regardless because she's always going to come home. <laughs> Poor fate. It's just so cute. But, like, I love also the fact is Nanoha giving our little team a pep talk, but in the end, you know, Subaru's being like, okay, let me try to give her a pep talk, and it backfired, and in the end, she got a second pep talk from Nanoha, and you know, you kind of knew that the, it was going to go that way, because as um, Tia said, she's been in the game for 10 years, she knows she's not this same person as what as she was when she was a kid versus an adult i mean like yes 10 years is a long freaking time to be in the game and to be in this situation of battles every single time and you just don't know if you're going to um make it and make it make it out of it that's what i want i meant to say so this is why like you live each and every single day as if it's your last and such and so now is the time where everybody and i truly mean everyone is this is showtime there is no more like pauses this is like you know this is opening day of a, a freaking play there is no more rehearsals and everything else. This is strictly like D Day. Because even um Vito Vito has said Vito and Anaha has said, like, you know, hey, we won't be there to, you know, come and help you because of course they have their own things. So yeah, Subaru, Tia, the rest of them, they're on their own. And and that is scary, especially for these four, because this will be the first time that they're on their own look at every other you know mission that they've been on like yes they're you know their teachers or you know 
still teachers, um, have always truly been with them. And this is going to be the first time that they're really, really, really on their own. And so it makes me wonder, like, can they truly thrive during this? Especially for next week with Subaru going against her sister. How is that going to go? Because that's going to, once again, be emotional as fuck. But, you know, a lot of things will be happening. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes 19 and 20 of Magical Girl Local Nanaha Strikers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 21 and 22. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!